Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the souvenirs we brought home from Mexico with us. And this video should be going live after our Mexico travel vlog. So make sure you go watch that. I really, really am so happy with how it turned out. But before I start putting all this stuff away, I'm gonna go through and show you guys everything we bought in Mexico and brought home with us. I do have quite a few souvenirs that I brought for friends and family, so I will show you those as well. So not all of this stuff I am keeping, just a little disclaimer, we did go shopping in Playa del Carmen. So that was one of the big shopping centers. And we also had a little gift shop in our hotel. And I did a little bit of shopping at the airport, but I don't think I ended up bringing anything home because their pricing was a lot higher than they were when we were actually in the little market area. So I'm gonna get started. I've got a bunch of stuff to get through and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The first thing we ended up bringing home is a gift for my mom and my mom actually collects skulls. So when I seen this in the hotel gift shop, I knew, I knew that this was the souvenir that I was bringing home for my mom. It is this Aztec skull. It is huge. This was a very heavy piece to take in a carry-on. So this is what this looks like. It has the Mayan calendar all over it and it is carved out of bone, according to our gift shop lady. So I think my mom is really, really going to like this for her collection. So this is one of the pieces that I brought home specifically for her. So the next thing I brought home is a gift for my dad. So I got him two of these Detroit Lions sugar skulls. I got the bigger version that has the big Detroit lion symbol on it. You can see this is what the front of it looks like. It's got the stripe along the back. Then they also had it in a mini version. So this is the mini version. And then it also has the Detroit lion right there. And then this side actually says lions. So I brought him one of each of those for my little sister. My little sister is all about gems and stones and all that stuff. So the guy at the gift shop in Playa del Carmen picked this out for me to give to her. So it has a little Aztec God on it and it's kind of like an arrowhead. When we were searched at customs, they asked if I had any knives on me and this was one of the items that they pulled out because of how sharp this is. So this is for my little sister. I ended up bringing him one of these tiki masks. Personally, I think he's kind of scary if you want me to be totally honest, but it is this jaguar head and it has a face in the middle of it. Very, very cool, very different. Anytime we go on vacation, we always prioritize getting a magnet. This one is a little sombrero. It says Mexico on it. So there's this one, one that says Cancun because I actually found one of these little crabs on the beach. So I thought it was very fitting and obviously I couldn't bring him home. And then we did get this cute little Mexico license plate. Oh, these are Viva Mexico cards. They are playing cards and then they have different patterns on them. So I will open them so you guys can see them. Mexico themed stuff, which I thought was really cool when I seen these at the gift shop in the hotel. My coworker Tammy actually breeds dogs. So I seen this in one of the market shops and I thought that this was the cutest little dog. So I picked this up for her. This is what this looks like. It has all of the fun colors and everything on it. And I found these two Christmas ornaments in the shop. There is this fish. This is what it looks like. It says Riviera Maya on it. And then I also picked up this little bell that is also hand painted. You can kind of see there's a bow on the front. For Shane's mom, we ended up picking her up a couple of salt shakers. This is what these look like. I think they're very fun, very festive. She has little knickknacks on display. So I thought that these would be the perfect little addition. There were different photographers walking all around our all-inclusive resort. So they did pull us aside a few times and ask to take some photos of us together. So we did end up purchasing two of the pictures, which I will show you guys in a second. But because we did, the lady gave us a little USB drive. This is shaped like a camera. You can see that this pulls out, here's the USB, and then it sticks back in there. So this has the two photos that I also received digital copies of, as well as a printed copy. So we did do two prints of the photos, and I was actually very, very impressed with the photos that they ended up taking of us. 
So this is one of the pictures. This is the black and white version. I did get them printed in an eight by 10 because I thought it would be easier to frame. And then this is the other photo that we ended up purchasing. So this was actually supposed to be Shane and I's honeymoon and that's what it was planned to be, but we ended up postponing our wedding, but we ended up keeping the vacation because we did not buy trip insurance and I really needed a vacation. I did want to get something that kind of commemorated that. So this is a little bride and groom. This is also carved out of bone. I thought this was really, really unique when I seen it in the shop. We have the little bride and groom to kind of keep that memory alive. Throughout our time in Mexico, we did end up getting quite a few wristbands. So this first one is the cenote that we went to when we went to the raw love when we went scuba diving in Cancun. We went to the underwater museum as well as a coral reef dive. So we had to wear these to show that we were able to actually be down in the water and had paid the like tax in order to be down there. Next up, we bought this little teeny, teeny, tiny sugar skull. This one is super small. This one just has a bunch of little flower designs on it. So that is what this one looks like. It is very, very tiny. This one I'm going to be giving to a friend. So it is just this pretty blue color. And then this one also has a bunch of like floral designs and that kind of stuff on it. We did end up leaving Mexico with two pesos. So this one is a little teeny tiny coin. This one is a, I think it's two pesos. And then we did have a one, not one dollar, but like one peso coin. So I have the two coins left over. I'm going to keep these just because we don't plan on going back. And also you can't really exchange them. So we have these as kind of a souvenir. Shane found a little coin purse for his mom. This is what this looks like. And then here's the back of it. And then I also found myself a purse while we were in the gift shop in our hotel. I ended up picking the red one. It has these little fringes down here. I thought that was so pretty. And then this is what the back of it looks like. And when it opens up, it has a black lining and then there is also like a long strap so that I can use it as a purse or as a clutch, which I will probably be using it as a clutch. But I'm really, really happy with this one. I think this is one of my favorite items that I brought home. So that is for me specifically. I did end up purchasing a couple jewelry pieces while we were at the hotel. There was a deal going on that if you spent over $100 in the hotel, you got a free necklace. So the free necklace looks like this. It is a teeny tiny little palm tree. So that is my free item for purchasing over $100 worth of stuff. This bracelet is a bracelet that Shane bought me. So this is a tanzanite bracelet. It is very, very pretty, very sparkly in person. That's what this looks like. This pretty, pretty blue color. Absolutely love this. I wore this just about everywhere we went. Ended up buying a pair of gold plated earrings. They are just little teeny tiny studs and I only picked these up because right before the trip I lost my gold earrings that Shane bought for me for my 18th birthday and I had a complete meltdown. So when I seen these I had pointed them out to Shane and he ended up buying these for me as well as the bracelet. So this is what these look like. They are literally just little diamond studs and then they're gold plated so that they won't irritate my ears or anything. They're very, very, very tiny and I am going to try my hardest never, ever, ever to lose these. I have learned my lesson with wearing earrings to bed. So these are my little replacement earrings for the earrings that I lost. I'm still so sad that I lost those, but moving on. They had little mini sombreros in the gift shop and I could not resist buying a set for the cats. So this is the first one. It says Mexico on it. It is very, very decaled. Absolutely love that one. And then this fun one I picked out for Marvin. These are impossible to get on the cats. So <laughs> we're gonna attempt to get a photo not guaranteeing anything. Also ended up picking up a little tiny shot glasses for my friend Athena. We did go to the Japanese restaurant in our hotel twice. So each time we tried a different bottle of sake and this is the set of bottles that we ended up with. So we got this one, which was almost like rubbing alcohol. It literally smelled like nail polish remover and was so strong we could barely drink it. 
This one was a lot sweeter. I did not like it. I really don't like anything though that has any type of alcoholic taste, but this one 100% was a lot better than this one. So here are both of these bottles that we ended up bringing home with us. My favorite candies are peanut M&Ms. So we did end up bringing home a peanut M&M pack from Mexico and I'm going to eat these, but I'm going to eat it in a way that I can save the packaging. And then while we were on the plane on the way home, they gave us little packs of almonds and they were just too cute not to bring home. So this is what the packet of almonds looks like. I mean, it's got like a little tiny pilot. How could you not? When we were in our little resort area, they did have a cereal bar and I love Frosted Flakes. If you know me, that is like my cereal of choice. So when I seen that they had a little mini version of the Frosted Flakes box, I picked this up and thankfully I did because I did not see a single box of these the entire rest of the time that we were there. So I'm glad that I picked up the little box. So I am gonna keep the little box itself. I'm still debating on eating the cereal inside of it. Did end up buying a perfume to bring home with me. So this is the perfume that I picked out. I think it is so cute. So I did pick this up as more of just a souvenir, but this looks like a little tiny Windex bottle and I thought it was so cute. And it's the pink one because you can also get this in blue and gold, but I'm glad that I got the pink one. So this doesn't actually spray, this pops off and it's like two separate pieces. So yeah, that's my little perfume. But Shane really wanted a poncho. So this is a poncho he ended up with. Very fun, very festive, very Mexico-esque. A gift for my mom It is this dancing lady. She is made out of bone as well. I feel like a lot of this stuff that is carved is made out of bone and then they paint over top of it. And it does say Mexico on the back. For my coworkers, I have six coworkers. Got each one of them a sugar skull. I ended up with six of these in total. So there is the blue version. I have the pink version that has the orange flowers. There is a green that has like blue flowers. There is a, another like greenish yellow with the pink flowers. And then another green and this one has the blue and pink flowers. And then same thing with this one with the blue and the pink. So that is everything that I brought home from Mexico on our little vacation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always think it's so fun to see what souvenirs people bring home because I bring home the weirdest stuff. That is it for my little souvenir haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and make sure you go watch my Mexico vlog if you have not done so yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed sharing my little haul with you, but I will see you guys next week in a brand new video. Bye.